I I said give myself a quick mood mark. I greet you all with your time, your area. Subscribe, like and comment my YouTube channel. Okoye Timothy Mark for experts in academics. If you have a calculation on that aspects. Today I want to show the secrets of doing with resultants of vectors. We all know that vectors, also called vector quantities, are physical quantities that have magnitude and direction. Now, this issue of finding the resultant is a, a kind of a big problem to students. So, I classify the method of finding the resultant of vectors into seven, seven methods, depending on the nature of the question. Depending on the nature of the question. So, today, I want to show us the secrets of dealing with vectors, resultants. Method one. So I call it the secret of doing vectors and the vectors step one. So part one. Secrets of finding the result of vectors. Part one. Part one. When vectors are in the same direction, add, just add them to get the resultant. That is step one, method one. Add the vectors that are in the same direction to get the resultant. The direction we're talking about here can be north, or can be east, it can be west, it can be south. So all you need to do is to simply add the vectors together. The algebraic sum is the resultant of the vectors. Examples. A man walks three kilometers due east from point P to Q. 4.5 kilometers from Q to R. 6.9 kilometers from R to S. And 2.6 kilometers from S to T. Now, you may be, you, they may include all in the same direction. Now, where, whether they, they include all in the same direction or not, when you see questions like this, it is assumed that they are all in the same dire direction. So, all you need to do, they say, that far, what is the resultant displacement of the man? The resultant, which can be called total. Resultant, you can call it total, or you can call it equivalent, or effective, or effective. Any of these words they use, that's the term with something, displacement of the man. Now, the answer to this question, since they are all due east, the answer is the same solution simply add all the figures together. So, it's a total displacement. It's a, it add 3 kilometers because in the same direction plus 4.5 kilometers. 6.9 kilometers and plus 2.6 kilometers. 
Now, one may ask, how can you easily add these things together? Just add the whole numbers first. 3 plus 4, 7, plus 6, 13, plus 2, 15. Add the decimal part. 6 plus 9 is 15 plus 5, 20. So you have 2.0 in decimal part. So 2.0 plus 15, that gives you 7. So the answer is 17. Alright, 17.0 what? Kilometers. This becomes your answer. To go further, you can put the due east because that due east shows you that it's in the direction of east. A trailer travel from from Enugu to Potakot. From three PM to about five PM. If the trailer covered 16 kilometers from station A to station B. Fourteen kilometers station B to station C. 7.3 kilometers C to D. And finally, twenty three kilometers station D to station E all in the same direction now remember I told you that this all in the same direction they may not repeat it you will not put it there but when you see this function you should know that this okay the same direction find the displacements of the trailer. Of the trailer. From A, the starting point. Point which is station A. D from station B C station C station let's say station D now let me use a diagram to show to illustrate this. Let's assume that they all move this way. They can stay with this way. They can stay with this way. They can stay with this way. So nobody knows what they all travel in the same direction. But I, I prefer to use this one. So this is station A to station B to station C to D and then to E. The direction of the arrow shows you the direction that was taken. So from what you have from A to B, 
we have uh, 16 kilometers, 16, 14, 7.3 and 23. So here is 16 kilometers, 14 kilometers, 7.3 kilometers and uh, 23 kilometers. Simply add the displacement. A says displacement from A. Displacement from A, you take it from A, from here, which is this third point, you add 16 plus 14 and plus 23. 16 plus 14 is 30, plus 23, 53, plus 7 points. That is 60.3. Now, view question says for station B, then you add from here for displacement displacement from station B, you add from B. So you add upward 14 kilometers, 7.3 kilometers for 23 kilometers. This and this will give us 7 plus this 44, 44.3 kilometers. That's your answer. C says from D, for this on this displacement, you just add from D. Come to the you start adding, and that is only what was 23 kilometers. So if we say station is displacement from station E, you can see it's zero. You can see it's what zero because that's the ending point. Now let's say uh, you have this example. Four forces. 40 newton, 35 newton. 32 newton and the 3 f are uh, represented in both magnitude and direction in the same direction. In both magnitude and the same direction. The same direction. Send direction. Find the magnitude direction magnitude of A the fourth force. Fourth force B of F. If the resultant force is 200, is 200 Now, remember they are all in the same direction. So all you need to do is to add and ensure that everything will be a normal calculation. So for your A now, we add 40 newton plus 35 newton plus 82 newton plus 3f. The 3f here is the fourth force. That is the whole of this 3f is the fourth force. It's 200 newton. So we are looking for 3f. We add this now. This body is 75. 75 plus 82 is 157. So we have 157 newton. Plus 3F is 202, which implies that 3F 202 minus 157 newton. That gives you 43 newton. Hence, therefore, the fourth force is is 43 newton. Then B. Says the magnitude of F. Now you are getting F 
3F as for Trinitron because that 3F is the fourth Newton. You know, say 3F equates divide both sides by 3. Therefore, F is non 43 all over 3. One may say, how can I get this? Just divide 43, 42 by the highest factor, highest multiple of, of 3 inside 43 is 42. So 3 divided by 42 is 14. That remains that it's 1 over 3. And whenever you divide the number by 3 and the remainder, remainder is 1. The decimal part is uh, 1.333. Which can also be written as 14.3. Uh, So, for this, you see that when vectors are in the same direction, simply add them to get the resultant or the effective or the presentative vector. I still remember myself, I'm going to watch mark, subscribe to my YouTube channel, also like and comment. The channel is going to watch mark. Thank you, God bless you, and see you in my next video. Have a nice day.